Skyhawk 481 Delta Portland Approach, altimeter 3006. 3006. Uh, I have no idea if this is going to help anybody out, Portland Approach, but we got stuck in a hell of a ripple off the top of Mount Washington just to the east of it. Uh, we lost about 2,200 feet in about 12 seconds. Beautiful fall afternoon in Maine. Uh, I got some gorgeous color. It's about 74 degrees outside. Beautiful bright blue sky. Just can't, can't complain at all. Uh, yesterday was a different story. Not that I'm complaining about yesterday. Yesterday was an amazing adventure. Uh, flew up from Portland to Augusta. So drove down from my place to Portland. Grabbed our airplane. It's actually a flying club airplane. Uh, flew to Augusta. Picked up a couple friends with my girlfriend. So four people in the plane. It's a Cessna 172. It's an N model. Uh, it's got the 180 horse upgrade and it does have a power flow exhaust. Uh, I'll, I'll aviation nerd you about that stuff later. Essentially, this is about as powerful a Cessna 172 as you can fly. Uh, and the useful load on it is a little over a thousand pounds and we had all of a thousand pounds of fuel stuff and human in the aircraft. So picked up a uh, full plane out of Augusta and flew over the White Mountains to Burlington fought some vicious headwinds on the way and uh, managed to make it to Burlington almost two hours later, landed super busy airport in Burlington, traffic everywhere. They were they had some of the taxiways torn up. It was pretty crazy. Finally parked, went and had lunch, went down to the Church Street Market, I believe it's called. So Church Street Marketplace, lunch, shopping, down to the waterfront, beautiful pictures, back in the plane, flying home. On the way there, we tried to get some shots of Mount Washington. So for those of you that aren't in the New England area, Mount Washington is the largest mountain we have in the area. 6,200 and some odd feet. It has an observatory and a weather station at the top, bunch of antennas, really kind of cool place. And uh, so ended up trying to get some views of Mount Washington on the way in and couldn't, obscured by clouds, lenticular clouds as a matter of fact. Um, and that's gonna become important later. I noted the lenticular clouds to my friends and I actually told them, these are dangerous, don't go near them. Continued on our trip, flying home. We didn't get to see Mount Washington on the way there, so of course on the way back, I wanna wow them. First mistake. So we circle Mount Washington from about 6,500 feet. And when you're at 6,500 feet and the mountain's 6,200 feet, you're pretty damn close to that mountain. So we uh, got some amazing photography on the leeward side. So on the way home, we had a tailwind now, 30 knots, 35, 40 at altitude. And remember this mountain's at 6,200 feet above sea level. So reasonably high altitude for a GA aircraft. But that particular uh, trip around the mountain, so we make our first circle around the mountain and on the leeward side, lost about 600 feet of altitude. Full power, pulling the nose back, five, six, seven degrees, barely, can't even maintain. We're still losing one, 200. And I'm, in my head, I'm like, well, this is the splash over from the top of the mountain. Winds are coming over the top, dropping off on the backside. We're in the waterfall, but no turbulence, just a descent. And I was like, well, the backside of Mount Washington drops off pretty quick. The next mountains down are 4,000 feet, 3,500 feet. So I didn't think too much of it. We just continued on doing what we were doing. Finished our circle of the mountain. Now we're back on the upwind side, over the top of the mountain. And then I made the mistake. I was hand flying this whole time. We'd been autopilot out of Burlington. I hand flew around the mountain, which was smart. It's probably the way I should have done it. At that point, I pressed a little button on the dashboard that says AP, autopilot. And what does the autopilot decide to do? It decides to turn and intercept that little magenta line on my GPS, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with intercepting that little magenta line, except for the fact that that put us right in the middle of mountain wave turbulence, which I'd never experienced before up till that point. 
Uh, it was the most violent turbulence I have ever been involved in. And I've been in at least medium chop uh, by myself and did manage to make it home. But uh, this was way worse than that. Pulled out of your seat a couple times, wings threatening to go all the way over. And I've got controls cranked hard the other way and it's not doing anything. Wild variations in indicated airspeed, wild variations in up and down attitude. And uh, for about, I don't know, 25, 30 seconds or so, the most crazy turbulence I've ever been involved in, I've ever seen in my life. So, figured out barely, fairly quickly that going away from the mountain wasn't gonna do it. So I actually turned and got out of the little eddy or ripple of air or whatever it was that I was stuck in and managed to get away from that back to smoother air and then proceed to just direct on course from there. Uh, end result was a loss of about 2,000 feet of altitude in a very short period of time. And I don't think this track log truly indicates, even though it's pretty erratic, exactly how much up and down and tossed around we were. Full gross, four humans on board that aircraft, one of which was the pilot, one of which was my beloved girlfriend, and two others were really good friends. And for about 30 seconds, I was dumbfounded. Click off autopilot, hand fly that thing with everything I had, and still, it was like we were, we were on a roller coaster. So, big lesson learned. I wanted to turn that Burlington trip into a uh, separate video altogether. I didn't end up taking that much video. I just enjoyed the day with my friends. So, I got a couple of really scenic pictures of the trip out. They got a couple of the trip back, including some amazing shots around Washington. Uh, and that's how cool. I'll try and throw a couple of those up in this video too. But uh, end result was almost very, very bad. Did I mention this was at night? So we went over the top of Mount Washington at the last moments of dusk. And on the back side, the eastern side, not the sun side, but the dark side, I couldn't see jack crap. And we really did go from about 6,500 feet to 4,500 feet in about 30 seconds. And uh, that was not fun <laughs> in any way, shape, or form. Uh, some of those foothills out in front of the mountain are not far from that altitude. I don't think we ever really came that close to ground. I turned towards a valley, and I, I don't think we were ever lower than, you know, 2,000 feet above ground. So I don't think that was ever a uh, really a worry for us. Uh, but overall, a very large lesson learned. Uh, mountain wave turbulence. This isn't Colorado. This isn't Wyoming. These aren't the Rocky Mountains, 14,000 foot peaks. This isn't that. This is uh, one ridge line, presidential range in, range in New Hampshire. Mount Washington, 6,200 some odd feet. Well, it's a bump. You know, we think of it as a mountain. We call it Mount Washington, but it's be an afterthought out west. And still, that scared the crap out of me and uh, almost hurt some people that uh, I care very dearly about. And they, uh, they all smacked the ceiling at least three times. iPad flying around, sunglasses flying around, knocked a microphone out of the airplane or off its stand at least. Uh, yeah, just really scary. So my lesson is your lesson. Delta, come back, Portland, approach, 125.5. November 4, Delta, come back, Portland, approach, 125.5. 41, 8, Delta, 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 Three zero zero six. Uh, I have no idea if this is going to help anybody out. Portland approach, but we got stuck in a hell of a ripple off the top of Mount Washington, just to the east of it. Uh, we lost about 2,200 feet in about 12 seconds. So I don't think we got any other planes in the area. But if you do, four eight one eight Delta, we'll I'll let the sector that uh, Boston Boston Center know as well. Thank you for the report. Mountain wave turbulence, leeward side of a mountain. 
especially with the westerlies in, in autumn, but uh, even outside of that, if you've got a tailwind and you're going over a mountain, go over it with three, 4,000 feet between you and the ground, um, or at least you and the peak. Um, being at that altitude, right probably where that ripple forms, and having to steer out of it and feeling that airplane really almost out of control. It, that had to be, what is it? Minor turbulence, moderate turbulence, heavy turbulence, that had to be heavy. That plane was damn near uncontrollable. So severe, I don't know, I, I don't remember the categories. I'm out for a while, so. But anyway, that's gonna be it for now. We'll uh, leave this one where it is. And again, my lesson is your lesson. I am an aviation nerd and a bit of a GA buff. Uh, I love this stuff. I think I'm gonna need a couple days before I climb back behind the controls of an airplane again. I, uh, I, need, I need a minute or two to digest that one and uh, really learn from it because uh, lessons in life are important. So I'll do what I can. I'll be back up in the air again at some point. Just gonna need a few days, so. All right, peace out everyone. Like this video, subscribe. Channel's a little bit of everything, that's why I call it random. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep these going for a while. I'm having fun making them. Hope everybody's having as beautiful a day as I am. Again, mid 70s, little light fall breeze, some colors and uh, <laughs> some traffic. So, but I will see you guys in the next video and enjoy. Always with the hand. If I'm wrong, I'm never wrong. It's, it's unless you ask my girlfriend. Um, I will correct that in overdub afterwards. Overdub, please. Um, so, or I guess those would be on screen graphics, something like that. Anyway, Mount Washington, 6,200 and some odd feet. Uh, help me out again, overdub thing. So, that was it. And uh, at that point, there I go with the hand again.